You're watching KCAL 9 News at 2. An increasing number of baby boomers are opting for independence later in their lives. More couples than ever over the age of 50 are filing for divorce. Author and family law attorney and author Marlo Van Orschot is here with us to talk about this new trend. Welcome, Marlo. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. So what do we think is going on here with the baby boomers? Well, the National Center for Family and Demographic Research has found that the number of people filing for divorce that are over the age of 50 has doubled between the years of 1990 and 2008. So what that means is that 25% of all people filing divorce today are over the age of 50. So we're talking about those baby boomers and I guess right. as they move through the general move through the years they've always been a little bit different. <laughs> and so it in has it what do you think is prompting this? Well, I, you know, it's just that they get married later in life, and so now the divorces are happening later in life. It's always been for a very long time that 50% of all marriages failed, but people are now getting divorced later, primarily because they married later. Ah. Now, I would imagine that there would be a lot of financial uh, repercussions from this. Divorce can be expensive. When you're talking about over 50, you're talking about people often with kids in college, people saving for retirement. Right. There's a lot to think about. There's a lot to think about. And not only children that they have in college, but a lot of baby boomers have still minor children at home. So just as they thought that they were going to be planning for retirement if, or, or aggressively funding those retirement accounts, they're now faced with child support orders because they either delayed having children or they adopted children late in life. So it, it absolutely can derail retirement plans when there's a divorce late in life. Is there a good way to get through it? What do you recommend in your book? Well, the best way to do it, if there is a best way, is for the parties to cooperate. When the spouses can cooperate and look at their options and the complexities in this case, then they're most likely going to have the best outcome possible. The worst outcome is leaving it to a court. So that's one of them. And another, and another important tip is that to, you have to look at it as a business decision, not an emotional decision. And it's really hard to do, but with trained professionals surrounding you, you can do it. And that's because the financial decisions that you make now, this late in life in connection with the divorce, it's going to impact both spouses for the rest of their lives. So if somebody is considering divorce after 50, what do you think the first thing they should do is? They should first see a lawyer. They really need to understand what they're going to be facing. And probably the second person is to see a financial advisor. They need to understand what their finances are going to look like post-divorce and what changes they're going to have to make in their life. Because everybody, both spouses, the husband and wife, will have to make changes. One would think that when the divorce comes at an older age that uh, children are older, of course, and it would be easier on them. Is it? No, I think sometimes they're, you know, they understand what's been going on in their parents' marriages, and so often they very much align with one of the parents. So there still remains a lot of conflict in the family. Wow. What prompted you to write this book now? Well, I myself am coming near this age demographic, and after many years of practicing family law and working with a lot of clients that are in this age demographic, I become sensitized to the issues. Mm -hmm. And I realized that nobody, no one else, is educating this group of people about the complexities they're facing. Yeah, it is different. It is different. <laughs> moving into a new era here. Yes. Thank you very much. Good luck with the book. Thank you very much for having me. Thanks, Thank Marla. you, Marlo. For more information on the book, just go to our website. It's kcal9.com. You can click Scene on TV. Coming up tomorrow at 2 o'clock right here on KCAL 9, Arlena Wynn goes.